In this video, let's talk about five interesting things that you should know about your skydiving gear. there, this is Catherine Bernier from Skydive Vibes, sharing the passion of skydiving and helping you become better skydivers. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and clicking the little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video all about skydiving. So as a skydiver, I always want to learn more and I'm always trying to dissect my gear to understand how it works. And from my experience and talking with my rigger, I found out that there's different little interesting thing that any skydiver should really know about their gear. So I wanted to share them with you in this video. So by the end of the video, let me know in the comment section if you knew all the elements that I'll show you in this video or any element you think would be interesting to share that I haven't talked about in this video. All right, so let's start. The first one is the three ring system. So it's a basic element of any skydiving container, but I'm not sure that everyone knows how it works and why it's there. First, it was invented by Bill Booth from UPT, the container manufacturer of the vector containers. Nowadays, this system is on every modern skydiving container and its role is very important. This system allows us to cut away our main canopy. So you have the big ring which is attached to the container, then you have the other two that are attached to the main canopy risers. So how it works is that you place the medium ring into the big ring and then the small ring into the medium ring. And then you secure everything with that line loop and that yellow cable. So in the end, if something happens by pulling your cutaway handle, the yellow cable will slip out, releasing the line loop and then the system will just release the main canopy by letting each ring slip out from the next one. So it's pretty brilliant. Keep in mind that it's always important to inspect those rings because whenever you have a hard opening, you can damage them and or the wear can damage them. And uh, if they're not working properly, meaning if they cannot slip through each other properly, you might end up having a hard time to cut your main canopy away. So this is why it's important to have a good maintenance on your three rings. Next, your RSL. So RSL stands for Reserve Static Line. Not all the containers have this system, but it's a safety element that is becoming more and more popular and that we can start to see on any new containers. So this RSL system is basically a lanyard which is attached to your main canopy risers and the other end goes on the reserve pin. What does it do? Well, whenever you will cut away your main canopy, it will pull on the RSL that will then pull on the reserve pin. So this way, without you pulling the reserve canopy, your reserve pin will slip out from the RSL action and then release the reserve canopy. In the end, it speeds up the reserve deployment whenever you do a cutaway, even though if you cannot reach your reserve handle. Although you never want to really rely on a system to save your life. So you don't want to rely on this RSL system to pull out your reserve canopy. Always do your emergency procedures in full. This is a backup safety device. A MARD. So MARD stands for Main Assisted Reserve Deployment. From the exterior, it basically looks like a typical RSL but in the interior, there's a difference. In a situation where you don't have any main canopy out, you'll be able to pull out your reserve canopy just as usual. However, if you do have a main canopy out and you cut away this main canopy, the system will use the main canopy as a big pilot chute to extract the reserve canopy. So basically the MARD system at one end is attached to the main canopy riser, just like the RSL, but on the other end, it's attached to the reserve pallet chute bridle. So this way, when the main is cut away, it will pull out the full reserve canopy. So this results in an even faster reserve deployment when you cut away your main canopy. Next, your soft links. So the soft links are basically what's connecting your canopy line to your canopy risers. This is also the system that will allow you to change your canopies on your container. 
in the past years, those were mostly made with metal parts, just like you can see whenever you check your reserve canopy. Now, it can depend on the model you have and the year of the system you have, but I know on mine, they are in metal. So over the years, they transitioned for the main canopy, they transitioned towards soft links. They basically use the same type of material than your canopy lines, and they are made in a shape of a loop. This is how they work. So small tip here, whenever you're packing and you see that your soft links tabs are out of their pocket, make sure to replace them to avoid any future problems. Last interesting thing, do you know the difference about the main deployment bag and the reserve deployment bag? Hmm? Well, did you know there was a difference? Well, there's a couple of differences. So first on the reserve deployment bag, the pilot chute is also attached to it, just like for the main deployment bag but it has a spring. So this spring is the reserve pilot should spring. This is what will accelerate the extraction of the reserve whenever you need it. Next, the reserve deployment bag is not attached to the reserve canopy, like the main deployment bag, which is actually still attached to your main canopy. So whenever you're flying, you know you have your pilot chute and deployment bag trailing behind your main canopy. That isn't true for a reserve canopy. And this is why whenever you hear that someone in your drop zone did a cutaway and now everyone is looking to get back the main canopy, but there's also always another element that they say they are searching for and that's the reserve D-bag. By the way, I have a question for you. Did you ever go for a main canopy hunt after a cutaway on your drop zone? Let me know in the comment section. This is also a great element to look at whenever you are doubting that someone just did a reserve deployment. So whenever you're under canopy or from the ground, you can see the canopies up there. Nowadays, our main canopies have weird colors that are very similar to reserve canopies. So whenever in doubt, simply look behind their canopies. If you cannot see anything trailing behind, this guy or girl just did a reserve deployment then you can start to look around to see the main canopy swirling down to the earth as well of course as the reserve deployment bag so if you want to learn more about what are the different elements inside your skydiving container simply click here and for another video from skydive vibes click here on that keep jumping stay safe and blue skies <laughs>